Interpol, fighting international crimes, making the world a safer place. Interpol is the world's largest international police organization. Its mission and activities are independent of other international organizations. Interpol does not have executive powers, so Interpol officials do not arrest suspects or act without the approval of national authorities. Interpol provides investigative support, expertise, and training to law enforcement worldwide, focusing on three major areas of transnational crime, terrorism, cybercrime, and organized crime. The International Criminal Police Organization ICPO, is commonly known as Interpol. Interpol was conceived during the first International Criminal Police Congress in 1914, which brought officials from 24 countries to discuss cooperation in law enforcement. It was founded in September 1923 as the International Criminal Police Commission ICPC. In 1956, the ICPC adopted a new constitution and the name Interpol, derived from its telegraphic address used since 1946. Interpol notices are international requests for cooperation or a laws allowing police in member countries to share critical crime-related information. There are a few types of notices including red notice following green, yellow, orange, blue, purple, black, and Interpol UN Security Council special notice. Red notice is given to seek the location and arrest of wanted person with a view to extradition or similar lawful action. Green notice works in providing warnings and intelligence about persons who have committed criminal offenses and are likely to repeat those crimes in other countries. Blue notice is given to collect additional information about a person's identity, location, or activities in relation to a crime, whereas yellow notice seeks to help locate missing persons, often minors, or to help identify persons who are unable to identify themselves. A purple notice helps to seek or provide information on modus operandi, objects, devices, and concealment methods used by criminals. Black notice is used to seek information about unidentified bodies. To warn of an event, a person, an object, or a process representing a serious and imminent threat to public safety, an orange notice is given. Terrorism has become a global issue. Um, it has become more international, more complex than ever, and that requires a strong coalition against the networks of, of terrorism. And uh, the United Nations are naturally, since many, many years, a strong partner uh, of Interpol. We are both 
supporting our member countries to be more successful in the fight against uh, international terrorism and organized crime. And this um, conference is about strengthening our partnerships. It's making our global network against crime stronger. And the most important point is that we inform each other on relevant information that is needed at the front lines of police. Because terrorists and criminals are definitely taking benefit from globalization. They are now acting really on a global scale, so the phenomena has been changing and this is continuing. It's becoming more and more really a global issue, interconnected not just between countries but between continents. And that requires a completely new level of law enforcement cooperation globally. And the United Nations is a wonderful platform where we build that strong coalition against terrorism and organized crime. Databases are at the heart of the counter-terrorism operation, especially those that can prevent travel, the database of travel documents associated with notices. Any crime which results in a profit can be used to finance terrorism. This means that a country may face terrorism finance risks even if the risk of a terrorist attack is low. There are two categories of these. One is strategic cooperation and the other one is investigative support. Terrorists use social media for radicalization, recruitment, funding, planning, and execution of terror activities. Interpol do some work in tackling terrorists using social media by identifying suspect and witness and investigative training and resources. Bioterrorism is the deliberate release of viruses, bacteria, toxins, or other harmful agents to cause illness or death in people, animals, and plants. Project Shakara Funded by the European Union project, Shakara brings Interpol's policing tools and expertise to frontline officers in Algeria, Egypt, Jordan, Lebanon, Libya, Morocco, and Tunisia. The objective is to help these countries intercept and detect terrorist individuals and groups through technology, capacity building, and police operations. Project Shakara connects frontline agencies to AI 24-7, Interpol Secure Global Police Community Network at airport, seaport, and national borders. It is vital that border officials have direct access to Interpol's database of stolen and lost travel documents. Shakara also ensures that eight targeted countries have the counter-terrorism expertise, equipment, and skills they need, including the use of Interpol's criminal databases during regional investigations and operations. In this way, countries can identify the working patterns of terrorists' criminal networks, detect emerging threats, and send early warnings across the regions. Interpol is not a police force. It is the machinery for international police cooperation and communication. International police cooperation is the coordinated action of the member countries' police forces all of which supply and request information and services. In 2013, Interpol was criticized over its multi-million dollar deals with such private sector bodies as FIFA, Philip Morris and the pharmaceutical industry. The criticism was mainly about the lack of transparency and potential conflicts of interest such as could identify. October this year, Interpol faces criticism for allowing Syria to rejoin its network. 
Interpol has allowed Syria to rejoin its communications network, a widely criticized decision that gives Damascus new powers to pursue refugees and dissidents living outside the country. A general from the United Arab Emirates who has been accused of complicity in torture has been elected as president of the global police agency Interpol. As a result, several human rights groups had lobbied against his candidacy. Despite some unexpected incidents, as the world's largest crime prevention organization, the role of Interpol has been significant throughout the time. And they have been very superlative in preventing crimes like terrorism, undoubtedly and very successfully.